solve for x. Log 7x minus 3 plus 2 log 5 is equal to 2 plus log x plus 3. So first of all, we introduce base 5 to this expression. So you can say that uh, this is a uh, log base 10 7x minus 3 plus 2 log base 10 of 5 is equal to 2 plus log base 10 of x plus 3 this is giving us a log base 10 of 7x minus 3 plus log base 10 2 we bring to this other side it becomes it becomes uh, 10 it becomes 5 it becomes 5 5 power 2 5 power 2 5 power 2 is equal to now we can write a log uh, we can write 2 here we can write 2 here as a log 10 of 100 log 10 of 100 is 2 plus a log 10 of x plus 3 and now we want to use the property the property of uh, of log that is a uh, when we are given uh, log uh, x log base 10 of x plus uh, log base a of y this is going to give us a log base a of x times y. So we want to apply this uh, property of log to solve this uh, expression. So this is plus here, this is plus here, and this is plus here. So we can say that uh, this is a uh, log base 10 over 7x minus 3. We multiply by, we multiply by, this is 5 power 2, 5 power 2 is a, uh, 5 times 5 that is a uh, 25 is equal to log base 10 a hundred here we multiply by x plus 3 this is giving us a uh, log base 10 25 times 7x is giving us a 175 x 25 times negative 3 is giving us negative 75 is equal to log base 10 100 times x is a 100 
x plus 100 times 3 is 300. Now we can cancel log. We can cancel log here. So we, we remain with a 175x minus 75 is equal to 100x plus 300. We bring the like terms together. 175x minus, minus 100x is equal to negative 75 crosses 8 becomes positive 75 plus 300. 175x minus 100 is a 75x is equal to 75 plus 300 is a 375. We divide by 75, we divide by 75. X is equal to 5. Find the value of x given that log 15 minus 5x minus 1 is equal log 3x minus 2. We are going to use the following uh, properties to find the value of x here. We are going to use this property log uh, a log base A of A is equal to 1 and uh, log uh, base A x minus uh, log uh, base A of Y is equal to log x over y log base a x over y So we are going to use uh, these uh, two properties here. So here we can uh, express we can express log we can express log uh, we can write this log and give it a uh, base 10 we give it base 10 log base 10 uh, over 15 minus uh, 5 X minus log minus 1 1 we can write 1 in form of log when we write 1 in form of log it becomes a uh, log uh, base 10 of 10 and this is going to give us a log base 10 over 3x minus 2 So now we can uh, use uh, this uh, property here on the left hand side. 
this left hand side you can see this is minus this is minus here so we can uh, put it in form of log base a of x over y so we can say this is a log base a 10 over 15 minus 5x 5x over over 10 over 10 is equal to log base 10 over 3x minus 2 here now you can see that uh, this is a uh, this is log 10 log base 10 this is log base 10 now we can say that this is equivalent to this is equivalent to 515 minus 5x over 10 is equivalent to 3x minus 2 so you can say 15 minus 5x over 10 is equal to 3x minus 2 because log base 10 can cancel log base 10 here so we remain with 15 minus 5x over 10 is equal to 3x minus 2 over 1 now we can cross multiply 15 minus 5x times 1 15 minus 5x times 1 is equal to 10 times 3x minus 2 15 minus 5x is equal to 30x minus 20 we can bring the like terms together minus 5x minus 30x is equal to minus uh, minus 20 here minus 15 minus 35 x is equal to minus 35 we can divide by minus 35 minus 35 minus x is equal to positive 1 x is equal to positive 1 because minus cancel minus minus cancel minus so therefore therefore x is equal to 1 solve the equation 2 log x minus log x minus 2 is equal to log 3 we can express this as a log x we bring to this other side power 2 minus log x minus 2 is equal log we bring to this other side it becomes power 3 power 2 3 power 2 then we apply 
te logarithm lo dases data log x minus log y is equal to log x over y so we apply it here on the left hand side so now because this is minus this is minus we can say that uh, log x squared over x minus 2 is equal log 3 power 2 is a 9 then this implies that x power 2 over x minus 2 is equal to 9 so this implies x power 2 over x minus 2 is equal to 9 we can cross multiply we can cross multiply 1 times x power 2 is a x power 2 is equal to 9 times x minus 2 x power 2 is equal 9 times x is a 9x minus 9 times negative 2 is a 18 x power 2 we bring 9x this other side minus a 9x we bring negative 18 this other side it becomes positive plus 18 is equal to 0 now this is our quadratic equation this is a uh, 1 times 18 is giving us positive 18 two numbers we can add to get negative 9 is a negative 3 and a negative 6 so now we can express this as a x squared minus a negative 3x minus a 6x plus 18 is equal to 0 we are solving this quadratic equation by factorizing so now we can split it into 2 1 2 x is common here x into x minus 3 minus 6 is common here 6 into bracket x minus 3 6 times negative 3 is positive 18 is equal to 0 x minus 6 into bracket x minus 3 is equal to 0 x minus 6 is equal to 0 or x minus 3 is equal to 0 x is equal to 6 x is equal to 3 so our 
solution here is uh, x is equal to 6 or x is equal to 3. Solve for x. Log base 10 x squared is equal to 3 minus log base 10 x squared. Now we can write this as a log base 10 x squared is equal to 3 minus x squared this 2 we bring it this other side 2 log base 10 x now log base 10 x here is common here log base 10x is common here now we can uh, say that uh, let log uh, base 10x be k Then now we can express this as a k squared is equal to 3 minus 2k. k squared, we bring negative 2k this other side, it becomes positive 2k plus 2k. We bring positive 3, this other side, it becomes negative 3 is equal to 0. Now we have a quadratic equation. And now we can solve it by factorizing method. So we multiply 1 times negative 3, it gives us negative 3. The two numbers which we can add together to give us 2k, the two numbers are negative k plus 3k will give us 2k here. So we can express this as a k squared minus k plus 3k minus 3 is equal to zero k is common here k is common here we split this uh, expression into two so we can bring k outside the bracket here k into bracket k minus one plus uh, three is common here three is common here three into bracket uh, 1 3 into bracket uh, k k minus uh, 1 is equal to 0 k plus 3 into bracket k minus 1 is equal to 0 k plus 3 is equal to 0, k is equal to negative 3, k minus 1 is equal to 0, k is equal to 1. So our k is equal to negative 3, or our k is equal to 1. Then now, we are going to substitute k in the equation 
log log base 10x is equal to k that is here so we substitute k here so using k as negative 3 we can say that log base 10 x is equal to k we now substitute k in this uh, equation here so now we can say that uh, log base 10x is equal to negative 3 here this means that 10 this is base 10 power negative 3 is equal to x therefore our x is equal to 10 power negative 3 x this implies that x is equal to 1 over 10 power 3 which is equal to 1 over a thousand that is in the first place where k is negative 3 when k is 1 then we substitute it log base 10 x is equal to 1 this implies that 10 power 1 is equal to x base 10 power 1 is equal to x therefore x is equal to 10 so our two solutions for x are x is equal to 10 or x is equal to 1 over a thousand. Find the value of x. x power square root of x is equal to square root of x power x we shall apply the following rules square root of uh, x is equal to x power 1 over 2 and square root of x power x is equal x power x over 2 we can express x power square root of x as a x power x power 1 over 2 is equal x power x over 2 from here we have got common base x here common base x here so x is equal to x therefore this implies that the exponents x power 1 over 2 is equal to x over 2. So we can say that x power 1 over 2 is equal to x over 2.
to so now we can we can write x power 1 over 2 as a square root over x is equal to x over 2 x square root of x is equal to x over 2 we can square both sides square root of x power 2 is x is equal to x over 2 squared is a x power 2 over 2 power 2 this is giving us a x is equal to x power 2 over 4 we can cross multiply 4 times x is a 4x is equal to 1 times x squared is a x squared this is giving us a 4x is equal to x times x we can divide both sides by x x cancel x here 4 is equal to x therefore x is equal to 4 solve for y the cube root of 4 power 2y is equal to 8 we are going to apply the following rules a b power m is equal to B M power A A B power M is equal to B M power A and A power M power n is equal to a m times n so now we can express this as a 4 power 2 y divided by 3 is equal to 8 now we can express 4 here as a 2 power 2 into bracket power 2y over 3 is equal we can express 8 as 
2 power 3. Then now we can express this 2 power 2 as 2 power 2 times 2 y over 3 is equal to 2 power 3. This is giving us a 2 power 4y over 3 is equal to 2 power 3. Now from here, we can see that uh, base 2 is common here, base 2 is common here. This implies that 4y over 3 is equal to 3. 4y over 3 is equal to 3. 3 over 1. Now we can cross multiply. We can cross multiply. 4y times 1 is equal to 3 times 3 which is equal to 9. We can divide by 4 here, we can divide by 4 here. y is equal to 9 over 4. Find the value of x. Square root of 5 times square root of 5 times square root of 5 is equal to 125 power x. We are going to apply the following exponential rules to help us solve this problem. So we are going to use square root of a square root of uh, b is equal to square root of uh, a times b and a power m into bracket n is equal to a power m times n. So now, we can write uh, square root of 5 times square root of 5 times square root of 5 as a square root of 5 times 5 times 5. Using this law here, square root of a times square root of b is equal to square root of a times b. So this is giving us a 125 power x. Square root of 5 times 5 times 5 is equal to square root of 125 which is equal to 125 power x.
now we can take we can take the square of both sides so we can say 125 square root square is equal to 125 power x square square root of 125 square is a it is one square root of 125 times square root of 125 that is giving us 125 is equal to 125 x times 2 using this rule here is a 2x so now 125 we can write it as 5 power 3 is equal to 125 is a 5 power 3 into bracket power 2x Five power three is equal to. We use this rule here. So it is going to be five power three times two x. Five power three is equal to five power three times two x is a six x. We have got common base 5 here, common base 5 here. This implies that uh, 5 is equal to 5 and uh, 3 is equal to 6x. 6x is equal to 3. We can divide here by 3. We can divide here by 3. 2x is equal to 1 we can divide here by 2 we can divide here by 2 x is equal to 1 over 2 Solve for x. 3 power x is equal to x power 9. We first of all get rid of power x on the left hand side by multiplying both sides by power 1 over x. So you can say that uh, this is a uh, 3 power x we multiply by power 1 over x is equal x power 9 we multiply by power 1 over x this is going to give us x cancel x here so you're going to have 3 power a 3 3 we are going to have 3 because x cancel x here we are going to have 3 is equal x power 9 power 1 over x 3 is equal x we can bring 1 over x that here we can exchange them 1 over x power 9 then we want to get rid of uh, power 9 here 
by multiplying both sides by one by power one over nine. So we can say that uh, this is equal to x power one over x power nine times one over nine is equal to three power one over nine. Now nine is cancel. We cancel nine by nine. We cancel nine by nine here. So now we remain with the x power one over x on this other side, and here we have a three power one over nine. Now we want to multiply this other side by 3 over 3 so you can say that uh, this is a uh, 3 power 3 power we can put bracket 3 power 3 over 3 we multiply by 1 over 9 is going to give us x power 1 over x. Now when we we put here 3 over 3 it is just like as if we have done nothing because 3 over 3 is 1. So now we can uh, put 3 over 3 power 3 inside the bracket so you can say that this is 3 power 3 we put it inside the bracket then now we are remaining here with 1 over 3 1 over 3 times 1 over 9 is equal x power 1 over x now 3 power 3 is a 27. 1 over 3 times 1 over 9 is 1 over 27 is equal to x power 1 over x. Now we want to use the exponential rule a power a that is giving us a b power b. So when a power a is equal to b power b, then it implies that a is equal to b. So we want to use this exponential rule. So from here, we can say that this is a 27 over 27 power. 1 over 27. 27 power 1 over 27 is equal to x power 1 over x. From here, now we we'll apply this rule. 27 is equal to x. 27 is equal to x. So from here, we can say that uh, 27 is equal to x. Therefore, x is equal to 27. Solve for x. x power 2x power 4 is equal to 16. We want to solve this problem using uh, two rules. The first one is uh, a power m is equal to a power m times n the second one is a 
a power a is equal b power b which implies that a is equal to b so now we want to take the square of both sides so we can say that uh, x power 2x power 4 square is equal 16 power 2 then now we can use uh, this rule here a power m this is a power m into bracket power n is equal to a power m times n so now this is giving us x power power 2 power 2 times 2 x power 4 is equal to 56 16 power 2 is 256 then this is giving us a x 2 times 2 is 4 x power 4 x power 4 is equal 256 is a 4 power 4 we can write this one here as a x power 4 into bracket power x power 4 is equal 4 power 4 then we use this exponential rule when power a is equal when base a is equal to power a and base b is equal to power b then a is equal to b a is equal to b a is equal to b now from here we can see that uh, 4 base 4 is equal to exponent 4 base 4 is equal to power 4 base x power 4 is equal to base x power 4 therefore this implies that x power 4 is equal to 4 x power 4 is equal to 4 now we can take the fourth root of both sides so we can say that uh, x power 4 the fourth root is equal to the fourth root over 4 this is going to give us x power 4 is equal positive negative uh, the fourth root over 4 this is going to give us x the fourth root over x power 4 is is x
So x is equal to positive negative the fourth root of 4. x is equal to positive negative the fourth root over 4 square root over 2 times square root over 2 times square root over 2 times square root over 2 square root of 2 times square root of 2 is giving us 2 here 2 square root of 2 times square root of 2 is giving us 2 so 2 times 2 is a 4 2 times 2 is 4 so now we can say that x is equal to positive minus the fourth root over square root over 2 power 1, 2, 3, 4, power 4, x is equal to plus minus a square root over 2 because 4 is going to cancel 4 here so our x is equal to plus minus square root of 2 and this is our final answer